All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about Connor Ben for a quick minute. Uh, Connor Ben, you guys know Connor Ben just uh, won a unanimous decision over uh, journeyman Peter Dobson this past weekend on the zone. Uh, a lot of people were interested in that fight uh, due to the fact that Connor Ben was on uh, illegal banned substance. I'm, I'm going to call it the egg sandwich. I'm going to call it the egg sandwich. And they wanted to know would the same Connor Ben with that power still be there uh, in this fight with Peter Dobson. Now, of course, it didn't show up. Uh, it was kind of a, it, it wasn't the same, uh, it wasn't the same Conor Ben, I would say that. Uh, he did win the fight, though. And after the fight, he had a little hit list of who, the guys that he wanted to face next. Uh, I think Errol Smith Jr. was one. Uh, Mario Barrios was on the list. Chris Eubanks Jr. was on there. And I think some other people were on there, but I can't remember who it was. Now, Gervonta Tank Davis chimed in on that and you know he was you know kind of calling out Connor Ben in, in a way so they got into a little Twitter spat there you guys remember that uh, we did a video about that here on the channel so make sure you guys check that out you're invited to check that out if you want but uh a lot they talked about making a fight you know and they even got Eddie Her Hernan on it and I don't know if it's cap or not you know coming for Javante Tank Davis it seemed Connor Ben was serious about it uh, you just never know what Javante, he tweets stuff and then he takes it down. And uh, we just don't know what's going on with that. But I, I, I was talking about how the fans don't really want that. They, they want to see Javante Tank Davis fight someone like Devin Haney, someone around his weight class, uh, 135, 140, and not Connor Ben. But here's the thing. Uh, Connor Ben, you guys know Connor Ben offered a fight to Adrian Broner before in the past. And... I want to talk about that a little bit because now he's released these direct messages between him and Adrian Broner. Uh, I want to read these direct messages. Uh, and I don't know why these guys uh, do release direct messages between one another. They release sparring footage. I, I guess that's just a young man's thing now. Just exposing everything, putting out in the open. Uh, they didn't do that back in the day, but, you know, I, I think it's kind of weird. But I think it makes for good... Uh, I think it makes for good entertainment for the boxing fans out here. So uh, I'm going to read these these uh, direct messages between those two. So it says here, before I get to the messages, let me pull up what it says here. Uh, one second, guys. All right, so it says, Conor Ben has seemed to give Adrian Broner the brush off by subtly telling him, not to contact him unless he's serious. Ben's comments about uh, Ben's comment about the bottle signals that he feels Adrian Broner lacks dedication to the dedication to boxing. He's not going to waste his time trying to set up a fight with him. So he was talking about Adrian Broner being on, you know, drinking a lot. I, I left that part out, but that's what he was referring to. Uh, Adrian Broner drinking a lot. So let me get to the messages. So it starts off with Adrian Broner. I'm going to quote Adrian. He says, I will fight you next, bro. You're easy work, bro. Connor Ben, I ain't your bro. We're trying to make the fight. We're, we tried making the fight, but you wouldn't put down the bottle of alcohol. Don't contact me unless you're serious because we can make it whenever you want. So Adrian Broner responds. He says, OK, I will gladly F you up. And after I'm done, I'm going to pop open a brand new bottle in the middle of the ring, F you. So that was the direct message between those two. Uh, I like this fight. I like this fight more than I like uh, Connor Ben and, and Javante Tank Davis, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, they fight in the same weight class, that's for one. And I think both of these guys, uh, you know, have something to gain from this fight. You know, let's look at Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner has you know you guys know adrian broner has been on a downward spiral uh, i think the last time he fought was bill hutchison uh back in june of 23 and you know he's been drinking you know he said he had bouts with mental illness uh he's been living a you know anti uh, fighter lifestyle uh he just you know kind of lets himself go and you know it's it's just been all bad with adrian broner so i think him getting this fight, if he could get a fight with Conor Ben, I think that would help him a lot. 
financially. I don't know what his financial situation is like, but, you know, him not fighting as much. I'm, I'm sure, you know, the way Adrian Broner blows through money, he could use the money. Now, as far as Conor Ben, uh, I think this helps him in two ways. Uh, I think it could help with his image. You know, he has image problems because of the legal banned substance. Uh, I think that defeating a four division champion, uh, putting it on his resume could serve him well. Uh, I think Adrian Broner is the more skilled of the two, but with Adrian Broner's lifestyle, I just think Conor Ben being the younger, fresher guy, uh, you know, has a better chance of defeating Adrian Broner. But I think this fight makes a lot of sense, to be honest with you guys. I think it makes a lot of sense. Uh, Conor Ben can, I don't want to say it in these words, you know, I don't, I don't mean it to be bad, but he could use Adrian Broner as a stepping stone to get bigger and better fights. The Tank Davis stuff, you know, I want to see Tank Davis fight Devin Haney. I want to see Tank Davis fight guys like Vasily Lomachenko, not Conor Ben, but uh, I think this would be good for Conor Ben. Adrian Broner would be good for Conor Ben. And could you imagine the build up to that fight? You guys know Adrian Broner has a mouthpiece. It, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. But that's my take on that, guys. Uh, Adrian Broner, Conor Ben, I, I think that would be. I think that'd be great. But uh, you guys let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Let me know what you think about these guys releasing, you know, the messages that they get, you know, direct messages that they get online. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? You guys let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.